All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels. I know, I know, I know. You're probably gonna get on me like, uh, Daniel. Daniel, 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 Daniel. There were no daily duels yesterday. I know. <laughs> All right. All right. I apologize. And I will be getting daily duels up for you guys for yesterday, today. So you guys get three daily duels today. So congratulations. All right. But yeah. Oh my God. I was just, I was swamped. I was swamped, 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 swamped. And I, I feel bad. I really do. I feel bad because it was all my fault. Anyway, today we are using Teller Knights. Uh, once again, like just like good old Teller Knight fashion, you open up the net and just set up a whole bunch of back row. Like, I think the deck has like 20 traps, I want to say. Like, there's, there's just a lot of traps. Not that, I, not that I'm going to get the, you know, duel because we're probably going against clearly something sacky. Like, it, if it isn't obvious that we're going against something sacky, it is. It is. We're going against something sacky. <laughs> like, no extra deck. You know, I'm surprised it's not fucking chicken race. I'm trying not break the skill, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, I know I have things chain, but generally it seems like when I duel with this deck, it's monsters that get me. I could just stop the attack. Hmm. I'm trying, I'm wondering if it's worth it or not. Yeah, I'll go ahead and finish chain my own monster set. I'll take that fucking 15, because I know I'm going to take that fucking 15. Like I said, I'm just doing it against someone who's trying to burn me, so. so I'll just stop my attack. Like I said, it's not worth me taking a 15 right now. I gotta deal with this entire fucking burn deck, so. I'm just gonna try to figure out how the fuck to deal with it. Really, I just need Deltaros. Like, that's what I need right now. No point in me sending the breakthrough scale. I'll take the little slow right now. So. Uh, there's just so much, so much, so much. I don't even know where to start. There's just so much, and I it's just this one day where I just got fucking just swamped. And it's like, yeah, great, awesome. Wow. All okay. right. I'm only running two breakthrough skills, and I drew them both in this duel where fucking breakthrough skill doesn't mean shit. You know what? I'm start using these breakthrough skills on myself. Oh, it says your opponent controls. Awesome. Alright, well, I doubt my opponent will be controlling any fucking effect monsters anytime soon, so... Oh, fucking great. Thank you for the fucking Ajama Trio. Oh, I hate burn. I hate burn so much. You're not even dueling me. We're literally just sitting here. <sighs> Guess I'll go ahead and just use the MST because why the fuck not? I mean, it really doesn't matter. I really wish I could have fucking Exton, but I'm the one up on resources, so. And I'm getting like bottomless and shit like that. Like, yay, burn. I'm going against fucking a burn deck with. And I got back row out the ass, but clearly I'm not dueling to hit anybody. <sighs> uh, question is should, should I see into anybody? There's no one I can really go into. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'll attack and then I'll probably get magical cylindered again. You know, just to burn that. Wow, you actually took that. Fucking amazing. Ah, uh, I don't even know where to start. Just so busy. I guess I'll start with the fact that my computer broke. Well. Hmm. Yeah, it broke my desktop, and as you guys know, my desktop is way more important than my laptop. Like, I love my laptop and all, but it, it's it's definitely my uh, it's definitely my desktop. I use everything for you know. I use my desktop for recording. Clearly, right now I'm on my desktop. Yeah, you know, the only thing I really use my laptop for is like webcam tools. So. And that's not even going really well because that, that webcam on there is not the best. 
So I might have to just go and get a webcam, like an H2 webcam, just to record webcam duels, and then I'll probably connect it to my desktop, and the desktop and my desktop, desktop end up breaking, and it was just, it was just gay. I was like, wow, alright, thanks. So I had to pay for that. Hey, thank you, fucking on down the trails. If I could, I would totally just fucking wreck him right now, but I can't. So I'll set this break to skill since it does seem like he's playing at least some monsters. Like, fucking card card, but most of the time he's not interacting with me. He just wants to burn me, so. Wish I wouldn't set like these cards like vanities and breakthrough skill and shit like that. He's gonna go ahead and bring a destruction name. Isn't a Jamatria? What is a Jamatria? Two? One? I can't remember. That's something. That's the problem. I don't want these cards being stuck. Really, I just want to get rid of these Jamatrios, but I can't. Uh, if, I could, if I could get rid of anything, it'd be those Jamatrios. I guess I should have activated Vanity's emptiness of activation. Then I couldn't special summon at all. Oh, it's my Denial Fiendish Chamber right now. Ugh, just can't, can't stand burn decks. They're not even fucking dueling me. Guess I can summon Tri- oh, no, because this will get destroyed automatically because I control a non tolerant monster. At this point, I mean, I don't even know. Guess I can go into Cowboy. At this point, it doesn't matter. I guess I'll just stop poking you with Vega. It doesn't even fucking matter. You're not doing hate burn. Oh, playing Solemn Warning in a burn deck. Solemn Warning in a burn deck. But don't you want to fucking hurt me more than you hurt yourself? I can get 1600 out of you, then you only have a thousand left. God, fucking drama tokens are fucking me up right now. I'm not gonna back down. I could probably pull this off. This depends on how much fucking burn you have left in you. Mm-hmm. Get that ceasefire. Nope. A jar of grief. Okay, well, that's just a one, slow one for one, so. Okay, I got it. Ah, uh, no, it would be nice, but I don't even have any color knights anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, there it is. Pardon me, so sacky. Ah, uh, that's good. GG! Yay, burn! Yay! That was a great duel! No. We're back. Alright, people. Hopefully we don't do it against Saki Ass Burn again. That's a Saki deck. Like, that is just straight up a Saki deck. So far, I'm not liking to break these guys. I tried to make the deck as consistent as possible. Of course, I'm running Triple Dineb, Triple Dorota. I'm even running Triple Pot just to make sure I'm consistent and clearly still not consistent. So, that's awesome. I'm going against Blackwing, so I will probably get Icarus attacked like I usually do. Nope, it's still not looking good. I think about setting two, but I'm only gonna set one. If you want to make us attack this bottom, let's go ahead. But right now, I'm just gonna be taking 18 to the face. If 
if we opened up a world, wouldn't I be in a lot more trouble? But for right now, it's just not looking good for me. My bottomless that? Yeah, I'm gonna bottomless that, because I'm not even sure if he's gonna exceed. So I might as well just go ahead and bottomless that. Take 17 less. Wow, Dark Bride. <sighs> okay. You guys know how I feel about Dark Bride. Never let your opponent draw. I mean, I would have just took the bottomless. It really was not worth Dark Bribing me at all. Thanks for the draw. So, now I got my Deneb, so now we're definitely in the duel. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set all my back row, all of it, because you're probably gonna Icarus attack, but I might as well go ahead and set all of it. So, I'll call Haunted, Previous Chain, set the Nova, set the other call to Haunted, like, let's go. Let's go. Icarus attack me. No? Okay. Let's go then. Wow. That is fine. He actually wants to summon the fucking clue. Like, why? <laughs> Definitely gonna finish chain that fucking show. You wanna attack me with the fucking Bora? Really? Uh, that's fine. Like, sure, I was sitting right there. Sure, I got its effect. It would have been great. But no, you're gonna be like, fucking. Bora attack. Okay. You. Like, wow. So, I had to pay to get my computer back. So, uh, of course, you guys know I have summer classes, which I'll get into those as well. Like, oh my god, give me Vega. Give me Vega, give me Vega, give me Vega. And try to figure out how I'm going to handle this situation real quick. So, you're going to take that clue, try to run into me, and then play another clue from your hand? I'll probably know that. I has it with her, though. Not sure. So this is a weird Blackwing player. Let me just go into Triv. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Triv next turn. On my turn, go into Triv. Start picking shit out of his hand. Put them back. Start picking shit out of your hand. Hopefully this isn't like a summer morning. That would suck. No, I still have called the hunts and races and shit, so I'll still be okay. I still don't know what this guy is doing. Like, if you're gonna do something, do it. So, I have summer school. And at first, uh, I didn't know I got financial aid for the summer. So, I ended up getting the classes and got two classes and I put it on my credit card. Uh, and it cost like 600 bucks, because yay, fucking college expensive for two classes. Not including books, like, nigga. So I signed up for summer school classes, but little did I know is that uh, financial aid actually covered me for the summer, so I, I actually got a check in the mail for uh, $622, and I'm like, yay, money, so I can pay off my fucking credit card bill. But then my computer broke, and then to fix my computer cost me like $400, so I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. So uh, literally on Monday, which is the reason, why, one of the reasons why I was like, is I had to uh, go down to the bank, my one of my banks, cash the check. In which case, when I went there, they were like, hey, do you want to sign up for a credit card? I'm like, no. Then I had to go to my other bank, pay off my credit card bill, just so the computer fixing like, people can bill my credit card, which, of course, I'm going to have to pay off again. And I said, at least my credit's good, because, you know, I pay my credit card bills on and off, you know. I pay them. You know, I put a whole bunch on, and I pay it off, so my credit is great. You know, I guess my opponent's done, because he literally sat there and did nothing. So, thanks, I guess. So I guess I'll go ahead and summon Vega, and then... That his bar will probably fill up because you know he probably has a response. No, you know he doesn't have a response. All right, well we'll go ahead and go into Triv. Put everything back. Start picking shit out of his hand. Then if, he's, if he tries to attack me with one of his black wings and clue and shit, I'm just gonna be like, stop. Your fact, you know, being his chain and shit like that. The bar. All right. And smack you in the face for that. And we'll go ahead and set the Phoenix chain. We'll set the MST. We'll set the call. We'll set the birthday skill. 
set the Nova. And for good measure, we'll go ahead and slap the fucking diamond on the Triv because then I don't even have to worry about any of his Blackwing effects because they're all be fucking negated because I, well, I'll negate them. Powerful Axe Diamond. So I'm assuming that my opponent's not even here anymore because Literally, he's done nothing but let his bar fill up. So, I told you, I can't, I can't get in the good tool. <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to quit now. Like I said, if he wants to go ahead and, and lose because he times out, then fine. But, I got this. I said, all you need is that Deneb. You get that Deneb and you're in the duel. Like I said, I'm running triple or triple and you triple pot. Like, I'm trying to be consistent with the Denebs. But, so, so far, I'm not really liking the breakthrough skill. I want to try it out, but I'm not liking it. So, I'll probably take it out or something. I just don't know how to help with the consistency anymore. <laughs> like, I see fucking deck profiles of Telenites, and it's just like, I, I'm not, cons how are you consistent, you know? I should put upstarts in here. Maybe also I should take out the brick and go put, some, put in the upstarts. No idea. Anyway. So, I had to run down to the bank, pay that credit card bill. So they can bill me. And uh, usually I go donate on Monday, but they said that they were going to have a uh, meeting on Monday. So uh, they weren't going to open up till 9, which they usually open up at 6, but they didn't open up till 9. It's like, okay, well, a bank doesn't open till 9, so I'm going to be a little bit late after 9, but still, I'm going to be there. So I uh, went to Bank Bank. By the time I went and picked up my friends, it was about 10. We got there about 10.30. And it was pretty crowded because, uh, you know, we usually go early, like as soon as they open, so, you know, it's kind of like early bird gets the worm, so we get done quicker, but, uh, it was just, it was, it was, eh, it wasn't too crowded, but it was crowded, so, it took us a while, it did, it really did take us a while, and, uh, okay, so, once again, instead of giving him, like, a fucking, like, game over. They're just like, no, just end his turn. Like, no, give him fucking a game loss. Like, whatever. Well, I can end this door right now. This is Power of Call of the Haunted. Like, whatever, whatever. The Power of Call of the Haunted compels you, so. Right, just attack, attack. It's not like you're playing anything. I don't even think you're here anymore. I, I'm, I'm literally just sitting here playing by myself. And we'll go ahead and activate the call of the haunted. Oh, well, I was the nev. Oh, I never detached. I never detached the old player. That's fine. Attack, attack, attack. Let's just wrap this up. Get one more duel in this video, because apparently my opponent doesn't even want to fucking be here right now, so. So I'll just cowboy him for game. Just so I can have the victory. And game. There we go. And, uh, be right back. Alright. Last duel, last duel, last duel. Last duel. And then this video will be long enough. Alright, so we got the nuke, we got the pot, it's got the upstart. Do you upstart, then you pot, or do you pot, then you upstart? I think you pot, then you upstart. I don't really know the, the order, but yeah, I put an upstart, it's helpful to consistency. So I just need a level card, because I got a nuke. And hopefully my opponent is doing <laughs> I really don't want him to just sit there and let his bar fill up because I would just be like, wow, this this video is terrible, but I already talked so much. So wow. Anyway, let me finish up. Uh went and donated and uh came home. And it just happened to be June first. A week from my birthday, I might add, next Monday. Oh, alright. So go ahead and get your odd eyes. No, right verse. Okay. Alright. So Let's go, Fluffus. Fluffus! Fluffies versus Telenites. Wow. Alright. Oh, uh, well. Hmm. This will go ahead and road a search for the Altair, because I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the Deneb, so it doesn't even matter. And we'll go ahead and summon a nuke. Nuke. Drop the map. Then I pot, then I am sorry. I think. 
If I'm wrong, correct me on that, but I think I popped them up start. I will take that call. There we go. Got two calls. Two calls! So apparently my opponent does not like the fact I'm using Teller Knights. I don't, I really don't care. I mean, I like Teller Knights because I like stars, but I, I know, they were paying the dick. No. I'm not MCO40, I'm like, oh no, Teller Knights don't deserve to be hit. Like, yeah, they do. Like, they, they really do. <laughs> they really do. So you're gonna go ahead and pitch him to get a toy vendor? Okay, I guess. That's fine. Not a really big fan of this card, but let's see what you get. You're gonna discard, draw, and discard. Well, I guess you want him in the graveyard anyway. But then you discard a toy vendor, so you get to search. Like alright. So after all of that that I had to do, I came home and then call these online classes. Like oh my god, dude, this online class. Alright, I allow you to search the poly, but then as soon as you activate the poly, I can literally just slip up vanities, and then you'll quit. So, this duel's over. This duel's over. Watch. Quit! Wow, you don't want to quit? That is fucking amazing. I would quit. I would quit. I, said, I, I seriously doubt you can beat. I don't, I'm not even sure if you can get over 18 beater. I guess I should summon the other nuke for more beat it, meet, beatage. Mirror Force? Mirror Force? I don't really care about the vanities, I'm just... I just want to stop you from choosing. You're probably going to like fucking Tiger or something and fucking wreck my shit, so... We can use our... Okay. That's fine. Still can't... Polly, so... Yeah, I think you can normal summon over 18 meter. Oh, okay. Did you top deck that MST, or did you always have it? That's a pretty good question. No. Do you do? Oh, when it's just sent to the graveyard, you have to go ahead and add. Should I activate this? I don't know if I should activate this or not. Just to get the Deneb search. Because I need to play this deck properly. Because if he goes for like Tiger and targets it, then Deneb has to be on the field to resolve its effect, so. so. I'll just be on the field before he does that. There's Tiger. So I'm assuming I don't get the nap effect. Oh, I do. Now I get the nap effect. Damn, I'm fucking late. <laughs> so he'll probably go ahead and fight for a fusion into like Wolf or something and then attack me like fucking 20 times. Top deck that MST. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's, there's Wolf. Yeah, he top deck that MST like crazy. Damn, I got OTK'd. I missed T'd and OTK'd. You're wrecked. So, I I had two online classes. And these online classes were like, what? Because one was like, I think one is my education class. I think that's like, I want to say six weeks or eight weeks. And the other one, which my, was my Nevada history, because for some odd reason I got to take fucking Nevada history, was four weeks. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, who, for those of you who aren't in college yet, don't take the shorter class. Don't. Don't. You think that, oh, the time period's gonna be shorter, it's gonna be easier. No. It's gonna be harder. It's gonna be way more work in a less amount of time. So don't do that. Take the 16 week. Take the whole semester, alright? That way, you can spread out the workload. Oh my god. This fucking four week class was like, each week I had to write two, four, two page essays. Four, two page essays about different topics, about the book, and read, like, five chapters in a book that's like fucking like 150 pages and take the quiz 
every single fucking week, four weeks, and then the last week, the teacher wanted you to go to a fucking museum and write an essay about the fucking museum, like, no, no, fuck that shit, like, the teacher doesn't even teach, like, he literally just gives you work, and then that's it, like, doesn't even fucking teach you, there's no lectures, there's no nothing, I mean, I get it's an online class, but there's nothing, nothing, you just teach yourself, like, no, and he's just supervising you, like, no, thank you, no, I'm not doing that, so, I ended up dropping the class, which I believe by the rule that if it's a four-week class, which is under the norm of 16 weeks, and I drop it within three days of the class starting, I get 75% of my refund back. So, you know, I think the class, so I'm assuming, is around $300, so I get 75% of $300 back and a check in the mail. So, not trying to exploit the system, but I was like, no, thank you. I don't want to take this fucking class. I'll take it during my last semester at CSM, where I can make it a 16-week class and separate the workload and not have just to be so fucking crammed. Like, hell no. My other class is... I think, like I said, it's like, I think, I can't remember if it's six or eight weeks, but there's still a lot of work on that one, too. Like, literally, today's Tuesday. Wednesday, we have, like, a two-page essay due. And then on Friday, we have, like, another two-page essay due. Like, she's, she's just cramming down her throat. Then we have, like, it's an online class, but we have a group project, and it's just like, bleh, bleh, bleh. you know, but oh, that teacher, uh, you know, it's cultural diversity, yet she's black, and she prefers black people, and I'm black, so hopefully, you know, I'll get some brownie points for being the color of my skin. Yay. So, uh, I already finished the first essay due on Wednesday, so I'll go ahead and get started on the one that's due on Friday. That one's a little bit easier, but it's just like a lot of work. So, with all that, all that I have to do on Monday and all the work, because literally she wanted that time and do on Tuesday too. Uh, by the time I was able to record and get on, because usually, uh, if I'm not able to record the day before, being i.e. being Sunday, I would record Monday. Like when I, I go donate, come home, and I would get home about 8, record with uh, Tiago and Lunar and have it up for you guys on the same day. But by the time I got home, it was like, it got home and was done with my work, it was like two. Which was not only past the time that the video was supposed to go up, but I, when I, by the time I logged into Sky, Tiago, like, Tiago and both Lunar both live on the East Coast, you know, Portugal and Britain respectively, so my two is like, they're like 10. So, you know, Tiago was already off because he gets off about eight o'clock. You know, off of Skype at like 8 o'clock in Lunar, he had to test in the morning. So, there you go. That's the reason why the videos were, were not there. Because even if I went to, I couldn't record because they weren't there. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, it is Tuesday. Tuesday right now. It's early in the morning. I'll go ahead and get on Skype, contact them, and be like, hey, let's still record and get them videos for yesterday. So, you'll have them videos. I said, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get them up before this one, but you'll have them. Hopefully. So, anyway. I apologize, I really couldn't get any good duels in, like, Saki didn't duel, otk but, hey, I talked a lot in this video, so that's all that matters, so, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Dinner Duels despite that, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Cleese. Alright people, thanks for watching.